गाइस वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑन कीटर्स डायरी सो एज यू गाइस नो वी आर डूइंग द इंटरव्यू सीरीज एंड आई हैव बीन इंटरव्यूइंग अ लॉट ऑफ पीपल अबाउट योर क्वेश्चंस ऑन इमिग्रेशन अबाउट स्टडीइंग इन मन एंड अबाउट लिविंग इन न्यूफ़ीलैंड सो दिस इज द नेक्स्ट एपिसोड ऑब्वियसली एंड आई हैव अ स्पेशल गेस्ट टुडे इन माय एपिसोड एज़ वेल आई हैव नॉमा एंड नॉमा इज एक्चुअली स्टडीइंग इन द कॉलेज ऑफ नॉर्थ अटलांटिक और हाउ वी कॉल इट हियर कोना सो हाय नॉमा हाउ आर यू डूइंग Um very good thank you for having me here I'm Mexican uh was born and raised in Mexico So you told me you're from Mexico and uh what did you do what was your educational background what did you do in Mexico and how did you end up in St John's Okay yeah so so what I did first um I traveled to the states before coming to Canada um and i i went to college in the united states as well i was living in chicago for a few years and i got a, a college degree there before coming here so why did you uh, choose uh, college of north atlantic and how did you even know about the college um to be honest i was um i was doing my research and, and i was doing research on um, the type of schools and I was actually able to compare the education here in, in the United States um I was looking to have to live in a peaceful place and also attend to an affordable school um so because I was uh, all the fin- financing is coming from my pocket um I I needed to go to a place that I could that I could afford by myself. Uh so um I uh, during my research some um uh, somebody mentioned um the North Atlantic area the provinces in the Atlantic and um uh, um somebody mentioned also um St. John's and I was like kind of investigating and uh, I noticed that St. John's was um it is not a super small place it's still fun you can you can do stuff and and it's uh, an affordable place to live um and also when i when i notice when i when i see the fees of the college um i was like yeah this is this is probably the best option for me um so i i wanted to have a balance between my social life and my budget in St. John's in Newfoundland is the right place. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It is definitely a peaceful place that I'll completely give it. Um so what was your educational background and what are you studying in Kona? Could you just tell us a little bit about that? Um yeah, so when I study in um in the US, uh, I was doing business um, just like that business management or business administration, I think mm-hmm. it is called there. Um then I got very into accounting and I got some certifications in uh, you know like ta- taxes and stuff like that um, in the US and uh, when I um I was investigating about CNA about uh, Kona um I I noticed they had actually uh, business administration um business administration focus in um in hr and mm-hmm. uh, business administration in accounting and business administ- administration in marketing so definitely that's something that you have to pay attention to because when you are applying for the college you have to decide which is the area that you want to study mm-hmm. um if you make a mistake i actually made a mistake and applied for marketing mm-hmm. and because i i thought it would be fun to try something new um then i discovered that it wasn't for me and um i tried to change but let me tell you something cna kona it is a really um a popular place to study okay um here in newfoundland and also uh, abroad mm-hmm. so it is also a waiting list to to be admitted Yeah. So and your application doesn't mean that you're admitted right away. Mm-hmm. So if you don't apply on time, uh, chances are that you're going to be in the waiting list and it's not mm-hmm. fun. I had to wait 
uh, a year oh. to uh, even though I was studying, I was in I was doing courses there, but I had to wait a year to be changed from uh, marketing to accounting. Okay. So, so you changed to accounting now. I changed to accounting, but it wasn't it wasn't easy. It wasn't fun either. And if I was if if I wasn't lucky enough as I was, um, they I mean I would have to finish marketing and and pay mm. one year in marketing something that I didn't like. Yeah. And you know it's like too much time and money invested yeah. in something that I, okay. wasn't very very fun for me. we have a lot of different programs in in kona i i noticed that every time that i say that i'm studying in in, in the college um uh, to local when when i mentioned that to local people they say oh yeah sure i did that the same the same program i was there too and then i i moved from the college to mon or um or they you know some i think the first time that i went to the bank here uh, the person who helped me in the bank, he said, oh yeah, I did the same program that you're going to do. Mm -hmm. And then I, I said, did you do something else? Because he was working in a bank. Yeah. So he said, no, that's the only thing I did. So it's, it's a really good place to study. Okay. And, um, and definitely it's something that employers are looking for here. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think a lot of people uh, asked me about Kona and I had no idea uh, what it was. And until you came and told me all these things, mm -hmm. even I didn't realize that Kona was quite a popular college here. Yeah. So uh, Norma, does your course have co-op options, work term options? Uh, could you give us a little bit of information on that? Yeah, it does. Uh, a lot of programs in, in the college have uh, give you the opportunity to work for a short for a short time um, after a, some semesters. Uh, in my case, as I mentioned, I'm doing business management in accounting, mm -hmm. and so I have to do um, around six weeks of. Um, uh, I have a work experience of six weeks mm -hmm. and the college provided the, the companies. Mm -hmm. They give you, the, you know, the, the, the companies for you to apply. You decide who you're applying with. And then uh, if, the, if the employer finds you attractive, they invite you for an interview and mm -hmm. you go to a normal process of interviewing and, and then they, they invite you to, to have your, your work term with them. Uh, something that I notice is that many people, many international students try to get into the university and when you um, you go to college, they they don't see you the same way when they mm. when you mention that you're you're studying in the college, but it's actually in many cases easier for students of college getting a job after you after their programs mm -hmm. than for a uh, someone with a master's because employers normally are looking for a, you know, like someone that uh, it's learning still. Mm -hmm. And in my case, for example, I already have, I was very lucky. I went to two interviews and I already have a, an employer. Awesome. So yeah, yeah, it was, it was uh, a very good experience. I was very lucky. I'm, I mean, I'm going to have a simple job but um but yeah. I'm, i do have a job so that's awesome. that's that's something that it matters when you're applying for a, for a pr or something obviously else. yeah yes. and 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 many international students come here uh to get their pr mm -hmm. they just come here as students that's the gateway to get into canada and yeah. then you eventually apply for a pr and just like norma was telling us you can do a course in kona um get a job easily uh she was telling me even before this interview that they prefer students from Kona um, for a job uh, much more than students from other universities, which is amazing for those who want to move to Newfoundland and Labrador. And also, um, as she was talking to us, um, you have a work term and then you also have the provision to get your postgraduate work permit, which mm -hmm. a lot of you have, uh, have asked me. So if you study in Kona, you still qualify for a PGWP. If you have... Um, a job offer in your hand then you can go for a international graduate program from um, from this province and i'll be discussing about that later on um, in my channel but just to open up that small little portal 
if you have a job opportunity and if you have studied either in Kona or in one, you can apply for a PR from this very province and that's the only criteria. It's not like you have to have work experience. All you need is a job offer, which comes under NOC 0A or B. Uh, okay, Norma, so obviously like all students, you are doing a part-time job, right? Yeah. So could you tell us how you got the job? Uh, what did you do for your resume and how do you like your job? Um, I like, I really like working. <laughs> yeah. uh, so um, um, I think I got here, I got to Newfoundland in um, August, um, middle of August, like uh, August 14th, uh, 2019. Mm -hmm. And um, I started looking for a job right away. I decided to come uh, a few weeks before starting my semester uh, because I wanted to adapt to you know to the place to get to to know around and um i didn't want to be lost during my first mm -hmm. day on my first day and uh, i wanted to get familiar with the with, with the city mm -hmm. so i started applying um, for jobs right away i made um a resume especially to apply for the jobs. Mm -hmm. I knew, um, I do have experience working in, in like in professional uh, positions. However, uh, I wasn't applying for a, a profession, professional job. I was applying for a, 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 a what is that, a part job uh, position. Um, so what I did was um, I made a resume especially for that. Mm -hmm. um, so you have definitely you have to adapt your resume to that. If you are looking for a, for if you want to to work in a in a coffee shop or in retail, you cannot apply with a resume uh, with the with your office experience, right? Mm -hmm. So I did that. I went around. I I didn't know what to do. I didn't know anyone. Mm -hmm. I was lucky enough to uh, uh, contact. Uh, a person who helped me he was really nice to me he was my roommate for a while and he said you know just go go there go downtown with a bunch of resumes and and di di directly put it in their hands and say I'm looking for a job this mm -hmm. is my resume and I'm looking forward to uh, hearing from you and that's what I did and it worked so for you. it worked yeah awesome. it, it worked um, I got a job uh, a few weeks later mm -hmm. and I worked there for for a few months and then I changed to another I did the same mm -hmm. um, I was uh, actually watching some of the interviews and somebody said you have to be open and there to talk to people and say this is this is me I'm applying and um, I know you will you will like me um, uh, but you have to be really brave and really, really open yeah. uh, for anything. Also, you also have to be very flexible. But, yeah. yeah. So, so uh, another question that popped up in my head when you were talking about your part-time job, were you able to pay your fees off with your part-time job? Well, something, um, I guess something that you learn being here is to be organized with your finance. Mm -hmm. uh, so... Uh, some something that I faced last semester, actually last year, uh, I'm sorry, uh, was that when I came here, I I paid. It was required for me to pay the first semester, okay, um, out front. Um, mm -hmm. After I got admitted, I got my uh, admission letter, and then they required the fir the the money for the first semester. Mm -hmm. And so for the second semester, I was working, I was saving money and and everything. And um, then um, I went to talk to someone in the uh, in my school, mm -hmm. and she actually made a plan uh, for me to pay. Okay. So uh, I uh, took advantage of that, mm -hmm. and um, I I I couldn't pay upfront, but um, instead of that, I was paying through the semester. Okay. Now, it's not something, it's not that you are able to save right away. Um, yes, I'm, I'm here, but I don't have money. You, you, you still need to mm. have to prove to the government mm. because when you're applying, you're, you're uh, showing your bank statements, mm. um, you still need to show that money. 
uh, but once here you you can figure out another like different ways to mm -hmm. to actually pay off your for your school it is not uh, an easy job and you have to be very organized mm -hmm. and you have to learn what is a priority and what is not okay. um and but it's it's a good skill that you can yeah you can definitely. carry through your life definitely yeah yeah um okay so moving on to my next question you obviously moved from the united states to canada so both are great countries so could you compare and contrast and tell me what you like about the u.s and what you like about canada and what you don't like about u.s and what you don't like about canada yeah so um i have um I have a third perspective. I wasn't born in the United States either. Mm -hmm. So uh, I can compare even three countries. Um, mm -hmm. I love my culture. I love my country. Um, but um, I just, I was attracted by, uh, uh, by other stuff here. Mm -hmm. And um, the United States is a really good place to work. Okay. And you're gonna uh, in your twenties. You're gonna make. Uh, you probably heard stories about people making a lot of money, mm -hmm. and um, you can work anywhere. And um, it's it's definitely a great place mm -hmm. to be. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful, and um, no, it's um, it's just a different society. Mm -hmm. uh, very open, very um different from my my country i was living by not by myself but i um i wasn't with my family mm. so i have that experience um uh, also mm -hmm. um canada it's more like i in my point of view it's um a place that i want to be for longer mm -hmm. for the future mm -hmm. the u.s was like um, it was really fun. It was a great experience. It was a good place to study and, and to make money. Mm -hmm. But right now, uh, I'm thinking to settle down in Canada. Why? Because it's, um, the culture is different. In the U.S., you work, 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 and play, 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 but that's the only thing you do. Mm -hmm. yeah. In Canada, I think it's more like you have a balance mm -hmm. between your work mm -hmm and your family and yourself okay. so you somehow you have time for everything school in the united states is really really expensive uh -huh. as an international student i was an international student there too mm -hmm. uh, it was really expensive as well and um, so there is a huge difference mm -hmm. you cannot even even if you do whatever program uh, for a long time it's not that easy to apply for a, a, a permanent residency hmm, okay. after your study. And then another very general question to you. Have you experienced racism in Canada? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> then we have to talk more. Go on. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't experience that in the U.S. Not because it doesn't exist, just because I was in, um, in my comfort zone. Mm -hmm. um, so it's different for me because um Canada uh, we don't have a big population of Hispanics mm -hmm. or Mexicans mm -hmm. and in the US we are a lot so it's a huge um a huge community mm -hmm. so I was very protected um here uh, I've been more exposed um but also um in Newfoundland it's different because Newfoundland uh, they're still getting used to yeah. newcomers. Yeah. So that's a reality. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hopefully it's not for everybody. Um, what's the one thing you love about Newfoundland? The one thing, the nature. Yeah, like there's <laughs> nothing else you can, you can like say. I know you said that with a, bl uh, you know, without even a blink because I totally agree with you. And mm. especially the summers are lovely. It's, I just yeah. can't wait for summer actually. Um, yeah. I'm really excited about that. So is there anything you want to tell my followers, especially for those who are interested to come to Kona? Yeah. You can go ahead and tell something, some message to my friends. Yeah, I mean, uh, if you are uh, thinking to come uh, as an international student and you think you're not ready for a university for whatever reason, um, I think it's just about planification. How I plan everything for me was 
um definitely i want i want to go to the university but not at this point mm -hmm. um so uh, what i want to do is have this uh program for for two years mm -hmm. you actually in in my program you can choose one two or three years mm -hmm. so i don't want to do the third year because um uh i might have very high chances to get um, the three-year uh, work permit anyways. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm going to do my two-year program, apply for my work permit, apply for my PR. And after that, when I'm able to apply as a local, then I, I'll go to the university. Mm -hmm. And I'll continue my career in that. Oh, that's amazing. So, yeah, so you save some money, you save uh, some time. Why? Because also um, I'm going to get some exper work experience. And after the university, I'm going to have the, the school qualifications. I'm going to have a PR, hopefully, and I'm going to have experience. Mm -hmm. So don't just get carried away because you think that a college is not good enough it is good enough mm -hmm. and it is very attractive for employers here yeah and a college of the of the north atlantic is not just whatever place it is a very recognized institution um a lot of employers want students from the from the college and uh, they're looking for that and it's not just it, it is not an easy program either. Mm -hmm. So that's why something, I'm paying a lot of money, but I, to be honest, I feel that it's worth it mm -hmm. because I feel like my education um, is now better than before, than in the United States, to yeah. be honest. Um, and I feel that like, um, I, I know more than I knew before, it, even coming from the United States. Okay. So um, I'm being well educated. Yes, yeah. that's amazing. Mm -hmm. So guys, these were all the questions at the top of my head. And I went ahead and um, got it clarified for you uh, from Norma. Um, so thank you, Norma, for coming on my channel and uh, giving us uh, a good insight about Kona. And uh, there's so much other information that you shared to us about living in the United States and even talking about racism. So thank you so much for all the beautiful experiences that you shared no, thank with you. us. So guys, um, there are still more interviews coming up. I'm just like talking and getting it sorted with the other few people. So we'll have a lot of interviews coming up. Uh, meet you again in another interesting episode soon. Bye. Bye bye.